Okay, welcome everyone to the Civilian Police Oversight Agency Board. This is the Case Review Committee. It's Tuesday, November the 26th, 2019 at 11.31 a.m. Okay. Next on the agenda is the discussion on the serious use of uh, force, officer-involved shooting cases. <coughs> Do you mind inviting Yeah. Um, uh, Lindsay? Yes. Do you want to come up here, Elizabeth? Is it? with us about this. I think we need an update first probably on where you're at and then I have some questions too, which I'm sure we all do. Uh, so the FRB continues to meet on the tactical activations. We have use of force, uh, we have circulated the FRB SOP to the DOJ and the monitor. The monitor is approved, we're awaiting DOJ approval. Uh, we've received comments also back from the APOA. If we get approval of that SOP this week, then next week we will begin having use of force related um, FRB meetings. The first meeting will not include a serious use of force. It'll be, we have to do a 10% sample. It'll be that, uh, we'll do those kind of cases. The second meeting will be a serious use of force. The third meeting, so that'll be December 19th, will be a, uh, an officer involved shooting, if all goes according to plan. So uh, you should begin to see cases uh, coming through. What we, we still have not yet circulated, a proposed backlog plan to the DOJ and the monitoring team. Commander Lowe is working very hard on that plan, um, trying to get statistical information regarding how long it will take to do the entire backlog and provide that information to the DOJ and the monitoring team. Um, so it does look like it would be probably about 2022 if, if the FRB looked at everything, and that is not counting 20s. 20, the year 2022, and that is not counting keeping up with current cases. So there is a substantial backlog that would have to be looked at. Um, so for that reason, and because the, um, the cases that were already looked at by the, um, by the backlog team, uh, that's Commander Middleton's team have been um, complemented by the DOJ and the, and the department, I'm sorry, the monitoring team repeatedly for their thoroughness. So we're looking at um, removing some of those. We would absolutely review all the OISs from, that were not reviewed um, during this period of time. We would re review serious use of force cases discussed in the monitoring report as prob problematic. We would review um, a sample of not a sample, but we would review serious use of force cases not reviewed by the backlog team. That's the general outlines of the proposed, you know, what we're going to propose. But we can certainly work with uh, the CPOA to determine whether and how you want to review cases that may not end up being reviewed by the department. Um, as it is right now, the Force Review Board, it, apparently there was an agreement and a, apparently a vote is my understanding by the CPOA at some earlier point in time, um, not to get cases until after the FRB, which makes a lot of sense. Um, so certainly for the cases that are going to go through the FRB, I think that would be still a good process. For cases that don't go through the FRB, we would need to just have a discussion of how that would work. Okay, I was, I've been thinking about this, and I, and I wanted to ask you some questions. Okay. It, the ordinance says that we will see use of force cases in series and officer involved shootings, all of them. So I recognize that we agreed to... I think it's serious use of force cases, isn't it? Serious use of force Correct. and officer involved shootings, right. And we, I also know that the serious use of force definition changed in that process. I get, I get that. Okay, sure. So, so um, initially, um, I thought about, you know, did we even see the cases that were part of the Department of Justice? Mr. Harness made a really good point to me about the Department of Justice went through all that. That's been adjudicated in every wave since Sunday. And, and I agree with him. I, I, you know, initially that's what I was thinking, but I think I was wrong. Um, secondly, but, but I'm not certain that everything we saw from February of 14, uh, was February of 14? When did we start? Was it 14? February of 14, that everything we could should have seen, we did see from that point forward, okay? So 
I need some issue, and perhaps we have, that's possible. I don't know the answer. But I think the public deserves to know, and we deserve to know, that all of the use of force and all of the officer-involved shootings from February of 14 to today have either been seen by us or are part of the backlog for us. Does that make sense? Sure, sure. I mean, this is a new discussion, so um, that we haven't... Well, I was trying to be reasonable and still maintain mm -hmm. our, um, our obligation, mm -hmm. which is to see all the cases. Now, how we deal with that, so to my way of thinking, and the committee can jump in and everybody can say what they think, but I'm bringing up just my thoughts, okay? My thoughts are, we have an obligation to assure the community that we have not just taken the list that the, that the city gives us, but that we have in fact had the whole list and from that decided what we were gonna do moving forward. And, um, and so I, it could be, it could very well be that from February of 2015 until September when we stopped with the, because of the FRB, September of last year? 2017. Oh, no, it was November. 2017. Mm -hmm. that it may have been November, but okay. The, but the, in that period, it may be that we did see everything. I don't know the answer. Um, but I think we need to know the answer. And then we could deal with FRB cases going forward, you know, the rest of them going forward. So I just think that since that's part of the ordinance, we need to be sure that we have indeed seen everything. <clears throat> and, and made it, and then this committee can make a recommendation to the board on how to go forward. But I want to first make sure that we have a complete list. And I don't know that we've ever asked for that. We made assumptions, but you know, at the time we agreed to uh, delaying the use of force uh, review and uh, officer of off shootings, um, in September of, or up November, whatever it was, of last year, um, we, we didn't, none of us expected it was going to be this long. So uh, I'm just checking my assumptions at the door and saying I want to make sure that we can say with certainty we have seen every single case and these are the, this is how we made the decisions for what we would review. Um, and the logic of that will come when we see the list and see what we need to see as far as that's concerned. That's my thought. Leonard, Valerie, what do you think? Yeah. Do we have a, uh, an understanding about um, how many cases we've, we've done back on? Uh, she was just saying. Yes, there is. Give me one moment. Let me see if I can find it. I can give you some preliminary information that I subject to <coughs> revision. Um, if you have other questions while I look for that, it could take me a minute. <coughs> Valerie, what thoughts do you have? No, no I, I, just, I just, you know, we've, we've discussed this before and I agree, I agree with you. We, we need to look at every case because that's what we're here to do. Well, and it, that may be humanly impossible, but what, I have an objection to the city deciding for us which cases we're going to see. Um, I think that's a task. If, if we can't see all of them, which would be my preference if it was humanly possible, um, because that's the promise we made, but if that's not humanly possible, then I think we're in the we should be the deciders of which ones we see. Um, and we could decide to do that randomly, we could decide to do that based on, the, uh, on a number of things. I don't know what that decision would be, what that process would be, but I know I'm not comfortable with the city deciding for us. We certainly are not meeting our obligation if we do that. Um, so the city maintains, or the APD maintains, a list of the series of force cases. Um, do you know that this number is going to change from what I'm giving you here? If you give me just one moment. That are one of the early Uh, numbers that we were looking at was one hundred and sixty six serious use of forces that excludes officer involved shootings um, and then twenty nine officer involved shootings that were not reviewed. So some of those cases are from twenty sixteen that have not yet been reviewed by the FRB. Some of them are from twenty seventeen and then there were all from the year of 2018 and 2019. 
So, but that doesn't answer the question about from 2014 to now, because we did see so that's use a, of force cases right. and officer involved shootings. I just don't know that we saw all of them, and that's the question I'm asking. So I'm going to have to go back to APD and talk to them about your request and how we would provide you with that information. So I, I will take that back to APD. Yeah. But I can tell you that you're looking at about 166 plus 29. Um, you know, I think it will be a handful more. I think there have been a couple more officer involved shootings since this date. So um, that's about what you're looking at. Um, to, uh, in just your backlog of what you know, we've identified, not this yeah. additional mm -hmm. search. And I, th I think is serious use of force we have a process you guys have created a process for that i think more important is the officers that involve shootings that are which are the harder cases to review uh is very important you know, because we really want to you know, take a look at those things but i think we have a process for serious use of force yeah. uh, so yeah i just i just think we need to assure ourselves and ask the question. And and so, you know, to my way of thinking, that's what we agreed to in February of 14. And we just need to make sure that that's happened. And perhaps it has. And all we have to worry about is from November of 17 to now. I can't remember the cases that we looked at. I've, uh, um, I've been going back and forth with Commander Velarde to verify the cases that have been reviewed by the board and the cases that they have at Internal Affairs. And so he's, he and Jackie are actually going to the files, the physical files, to verify whether or not they have the feedback. So we're still compiling that list. I just, I just think that's the promise that the ordinance makes to the community. And we need to make sure we, we check and make sure we've gotten them all, that nothing's been overlooked, nothing fell through the cracks which it probably didn't, but we, we had a lot of serious use of force and officer involved shootings in the beginning. Um, and we may have had all of them, but we may not. And so I just think it's time to sweep it all together and figure it out. So you're asking for a list of all of the serious uses of force and officer involved shootings from February 20, 2014 to the present. I'll take that request back to APD. Um, you know, you know, based on these numbers, there's an estimated 166 uh, serious uses of force plus 29 um, officer involved shootings that haven't been reviewed. Is it your, is it the CPOA's thinking that of those you will pick which ones you see, um, that if, if they're not reviewed by APD you may review some of them or you're, you may not? I think we need to see the whole list mm -hmm. um, and see, and all, I don't want ones we did already review. Right. Okay. Right. I'm, I, I'm not counting those. Um, but I think we need to be able to at least this committee dig into uh, you know, at the very least a, min, uh, a, a significant random sample of them um, to go through that, some of which may have been reviewed by FRB, some of which may not. Um, I think it, it would be my preference that this committee at least dig down on all of them. Um, and I just don't know based on not knowing how many altogether there are and how much time we've got. We have to put some kind of priorities for the ones that are, uh, you know, either the oldest or the youngest or whatever those things are, you know, in order to catch up. But I think the promise made to the community was that we would see all of them. And so I think that's a decision for us to make about how we're going to physically do that and if it's possible to do it. Um, I certainly would be in favor of doing it. Um, but. If it's not possible, we'll have to come up with an alternative. And that would be a decision, in my view, that we make as a, as a board. Well, I'll take this request back to Amy. And it would, it would just be really helpful to know that we didn't review it. You know. Ed, do you have a way of knowing for the archives all the ones we saw all the way back to 214? I, I have them listed, and I... <clears throat> Internal Affairs and I are going through the list now to, to see um, which ones they have listed as not being reviewed because there's um, there's some that the board has reviewed that Internal Affairs says have, haven't been reviewed and so we're in the process of going through all those files and making those notes. And moving forward, yeah, this is not any kind of uh, negative comment about this administration we have had 
uh, only good, really, for the 99.9% .9 of the time, only good things since this administration. But before, we were being manipulated in the extreme. And so that's why I think we have an obligation to go backwards. Okay. Uh, so. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.